It's important because it's a, a clean source of, of power. Um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of opportunities to um, produce power out there, fossil, hydro, um, nuclear, just from a sustainability standpoint. Um, it's just a clean source, it's an efficient source, it's a reliable source. And then it's just a great career opportunity for uh, you know folks that's looking for uh, um, new uh, new careers and new opportunities. We work with community colleges, uh, and and one specific is is a community college that we we hire radiation protection uh, specialists, and so we actually teach them the curriculum at the college. We bring them in and, uh, as interns, and as opportunities present themselves, we we hire them. We also have a relationship with the community college where we bring in maintenance technicians. And uh, it's a two-year uh, technical, uh, technical college. We bring, bring them in in welding, we bring them in in pipe fitting, we bring them in in instrument and control. And uh, they go to school, but then they also work part-time. And then when they finish their two-year uh, degree, they have an opportunity to, to hire on. And um, our retention rate for those, for those folks it's up around 95%, it's, it's, it's pretty high. Our overall objective is really to focus on the aging workforce. Uh, probably 45% of my workforce over the next three to five years um, will retire. And, and we're probably in that wave now uh, where a lot of those folks are strongly considering and a lot of those folks have already retired. So a primary objective is getting folks in early, um, transferring that knowledge over to some of the some of the younger folks so we, we make sure that we maintain a certain level of technical knowledge at, at, at the uh, at the plant and we're seeing a lot of a lot of gains as far as uh, results we've hired in um, uh, this year alone um, 12 individuals from the technical college as far as uh, maintenance um, mm -hmm. INC electrical instrument control and electrical technicians we've hired in um, seven radiation protection personnel and that's in-house now. The, 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 a lot of those folks also work as contractors for a period of time um, to s provide supplemental support. And uh, so when we actually hire them in, we're hiring individuals in that's actually probably worked at the site for about two or three years, um, either in an intern or contractor role while they're attending college. They're very you know, high paying jobs um, and, and very, very important jobs. We focus a lot on um, degree positions, which mm -hmm. is very important in, in our business, but if you look at the majority of the, the staff at the plant, uh, it's really in the in more of the trade area, and, and so a lot of focus on, on getting some of the folks uh, trained and qualified to support our future needs, current and future needs.